And shakas and shout outs to our educators for dedicating their lives to educating, mentoring, and guiding our youth. This week, of course, it is Teacher Appreciation Week, and Jack in the Box and Duncan are offering a free cup of hot or iced coffee. McDonald's sweetened the deal by offering two cookies along with a hot or iced coffee. So go enjoy the amazing deals. Just make sure you take your ID or your pay stub when you stop by. Now, one of those amazing educators joins me on the couch right now. This is Kaui Tanaka, the principal of Mauna Wili Elementary School. Aloha, Kaui. Aloha. Should I just call you Miss Tanaka or Miss Kaui? Kaui is fine. Okay, Kaui, all right, welcome to the show. <laughs> now, we invited you uh, to come on the show because Mauna Wili Elementary, it, uh, the students are doing some amazing things and it is definitely worth bragging about. So can you tell us about what's happening at Mauna Wili? Sure. So I'm, I'm proud principal of Mauna Wili Elementary School, a small school in Kailua. Uh, we service about 340 students and we are doing amazing things. The educators there, of course, teacher appreciation, so mm -hmm. got a shout out to my teachers, but they are doing um, amazing things. We're student-centered. Um, we use a platform called Panorama to just figure out all the things that make our students tick. Um, so we can do the best for them. So you can do analytics uh, based on like the, the individual students versus just kind of teaching like everybody, like one blanket style of teaching? Absolutely. Um, wow. So we focus- When did this happen? I'm yeah, right. this when we used to go to school. <laughs> so we focus on the standards, of course, um, but we also use the data from that um, platform Panorama mm -hmm. to really look at what are the attendance tendencies for our students? What are the behaviors that are going on? Um, how do we help students to belong at our school so that we can help them academically and then right soar to the next thing that they're going to do. I absolutely love that. Now, let's brag for a little bit because you guys are doing significantly higher in several subjects. Can you talk about that for a little bit? Yes, so um, in English language arts and math, we're about 20% higher than the state average. Um, and then in science, we're at 36% higher, which is, again, the amazing educators and what they're doing and being student-centered for our students. I, wow, that is amazing. I mean, this is, and this is public school, so, but you still, I mean, you kind of just send your, your kids, if like, say for instance, you in one different district, or mm -hmm. uh, you, you kind of just send your, um, your your student, your kid to Mono Wheelie, right? Not not quite, you yeah. have to apply for a geographical exception, mm -hmm. um, and there's a whole process for that. But if we have openings, then please come on over. <laughs> now, you know, um, based on your guys' results, you guys were um, awarded an amazing um, uh, designation from the Department of Education, the U.S. Department yes, of Education. Yes. Can you talk about that? Yeah. Probably? So we, in to, for 2023, are the National Blue Ribbon School. Wow. Um, yeah. There were only two schools in Hawaii, both of them in the Kailua Kalaheo complex. Um, so shout out to Kaile Pulu Elementary, who was um, with us. Um, but no, we are, again, it's just the amazing educators, and this has been years in the making of student-centered, looking at data, um, really just doing all the things to figure out how do we make our students be the best that they can be. You know, I was looking, uh, reading on you guys' website, and you guys have this CTE pathway. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about that for a little bit? Because I thought that was pretty interesting that you guys have these cohorts, and based on what the student is interested in, you guys kind of pair them in that or put them in those groups to kind of pursue that, right? Sure. Talk sure. about that. Yeah, so we survey our students all the time, trying to figure out, right? what would they like to um, be interested in, what, what do they want um, as pathways, as, as you're discussing. Um, so we gave our students an interest survey, and from that survey, we discovered 13 different areas that students are interested in. Mm -hmm. So we created pathways, kind of like what they do at high school, but at an elementary level. Uh, this is elementary school. Elementary school. So students from fourth through sixth grade got to choose a pathway that they're interested in. And so we have engineering, we have pause and gauze, which is like veterinary oh um, education, right, in case students want to be teachers. Um, but they get to choose from these 13 areas and go to a pathway and explore so that by the time they get to middle school and high school, that they are able to kind of jump in, right, and, and just know by the time they're in high school that they want to do this when they get to college. This is why we are honoring you guys, uh, our, our teachers, our educators this week, because you are doing amazing things for our Kiki. And just to let you know, we looked at the uh, the demographic breakdown of uh, Mauna Wili Elementary School. 23% are Hawaiian Pacific Islander, 21% Hispanic, and then we've got 6% Asian. You guys got a nice, diverse mix of students yeah, over there from the, from the community. Miss Kaui, thank you so much for being here, and thank, thank you for you. doing what you're doing for our KQ of Hawaii. <laughs>